Yesterday, a number of us were at the shrine of Our Lady of Champion, Wisconsin. Drew was there covering it, broadcasting it on the anniversary of the great miracle. And Bishop Bricken, who celebrated the Mass, also used that occasion to invite our Blessed Mother to do another big one to settle down Hurricane Milton. Of course, the day before, we prayed for that here at Relevant Radio. And right in the middle of his homily, he invited all of us to pray one decade of the rosary. And he quoted a phrase from Scripture which was very powerful. Jesus said, whenever two of you are in agreement for something you ask for, it will be given to you. And he said, well, there's more than two of us here. And do you all agree we want to have the hurricane settle out? We all agreed. And then we said a deck of the rosary. And he said, we want our lady to take it from hurricane five to four to three to two and one. Now, you all know, probably, um, you know, because weather is always a big topic. There are many variables in, in weather. But Drew was there. He was a witness. I was a witness. And then we prayed last night at the shrine, right at the hour that the um, hurricane uh, landed. And um, had it come in four hours later, it would have been high tide. So it came in at low tide. Had it come in 25 miles north, it would have been a real problem for Tampa, Orlando, and Daytona Beach, 7 million people. But it came in 25 miles south. There's flooding. At this point, we know six people have died, four from a tornado. And not to make light of that, but you know more people are killed on the south side of Chicago on any weekend, right? And that doesn't get as much news press. So has there been an answer to prayers? I think there has been an answer to prayers. And our Lord says very clearly, Asking you shall receive, seeking you will find, and knock, it will be open to you. On Tuesday when we had this Mass, I pointed out a um, special section here in this prayer for an end of storms. It says, we humbly entreat you that the stilling of fearsome storms may turn a powerful menace into an occasion for us to praise you. And that's why the opening hymn was, now thank we all of our God. Now I know it usually comes at the end of the Mass, but I usually have a him to Our Lady at the end of the Mass. But, so that's what we did today. We are, you know, we're that one leper who comes back and thanks their Lord. We're not the nine who said, oh, you know, carry on. So I think we've been a witness of that in these days um, so that we could praise you. So what's the lesson in all of this? Um, God is in control of everything. And it's important for us to remember that at all times so we don't lose our peace. And it's a mystery, Right? especially when you look at Jesus on the crucifix. God is in control, and that's God, and he's God. It doesn't look like he's in control. But there's a mystery there. There's a paradox to suffering. In each in our own lives, we will experience some kind of suffering to draw us closer to Jesus on the cross. So that's the point of today, to be mindful of the uh, prayers that have been answered and to be thankful to God for those prayers that have been answered and then turn to him for all of our needs, big and small. And um, sometimes people, well, I'm not going to bother God about the Cubs winning the World Series. Why not if it's your team? They're not going to win without God's help. That's pretty clear, right? So we're going to pray for that.